Hello kids, how are you all? I hope you're all fine and healthy and safe at your homes. And with these classes, online classes, I hope you're all doing good. Alright, so it's been quite a while since we've read a story together. So today I have a new story for you that is Q Poodle 5. It's about a spaceship and an alien. Isn't he cute? So the story is by Nick Butterworth. Let's start. Q Poodle 5, Nick Butterworth. Karam! Q Poodle 5 has landed. He has come to Earth. But Earth is not where Q Poodle 5 wants to be. He is on his way to a moon party for his friend Z Poodle 6. But something has gone wrong. I wonder what is it? Can you guess? Q Poodle 5 has a problem with his spaceship. One of the rocket boosters won't boost. The spaceship won't fly. Q Poodle 5 looks carefully at the rocket booster. Hmm, he says. He thinks he knows what is wrong with it. It's just as I thought, he says. It's broken. The spaceship needs a new rocket booster. But where on earth can he find one? Oh my god, that's a big problem. Q Poodle 5 has wrongly landed on earth and now his booster isn't working. He needs a new rocket booster. Now let's think, where can he find one? Ah, here comes an earthling. Perhaps he knows. He looks friendly and he is a nice color. Green. Please can you help? Says Q Poodle 5. I need a rocket booster. The earthling can't help. He doesn't even know what a rocket booster is. Never mind. Here come some more earthlings. Perhaps they can help. Excuse me, says Q Poodle 5. Do you know where I can find a new rocket booster? The earthlings think very hard. So who are these earthlings? Let's go and have a look. No, says the first one. Sorry, we don't use rocket boosters, says the second. We are birds, says the third earthling. Oh dear, says Q Poodle 5. I'm going to be late for the party. Well, Q Poodle 5 is kind of upset. But here comes another earthling. And look, the earthling is carrying a rocket booster. What luck! Please, says Q Poodle 5. Can you help me? Well, what do you think is the earthling carrying? Is it really a rocket booster? Let's have a look. He tells the earthling about his spaceship and how it won't fly without a new rocket booster. You can have this one, the earthling says, as soon as I finish my dinner. Oh, so this is what he is talking about. This tin. He will use it as a rocket booster for his spaceship. The earthling is called Colin. He is pleased to help. As soon as Colin has finished his dinner, Q Poodle 5 fixes the new rocket booster onto the spaceship. Look, Q Poodle 5 is fixing it onto his rocket ship. I just hope it helps. So Q Poodle 5 climbs into his spaceship. He presses the starter button, but nothing happens. Oh, be bother Boodle, says Q Poodle 5. I'm going to be late and Z Poodle 6 will be upset. Look, Q Poodle is trying so hard to make his ship start. 
He really needs to go for the party, no? Colin looks carefully at the spaceship. I'm not very clever with rockets, he says. But I think I can see the problem. What do you think the problem would be? Colin knows why the spaceship won't fly. Can you pass me a spoon? He says. There's a bit of my dinner stuck in your rocket booster. Oops, so that is the problem. Look, the tin is not fully empty yet. So let's see, does this spoon aid to his problem? Now the rocket booster is clear. Cubooter 5 presses the starter button. There is a rumbling sound. Then a bang, followed by a funny smell that smells a bit like Colin's dinner, only cooked. Cubootle 5 pushes the starter button again. Hooray! The spaceship whooshes up into the air. Cubootle 5 waves goodbye to Colin and the birds and the green earthling. And they wave back. Then, suddenly, just as suddenly as it came, the spaceship is gone. Goodbye, Cubootle 5. Enjoy the moon party. And finally, he's there with his friend Zeepootle 6 at the moon, waving goodbye at his earthling friends, enjoying his moon party. Yay! Bye bye. So, kids, I hope you had fun reading this new story, Q Bootle 5, with me. So, I gotta go and I'll be back with more new, interesting, fun stories. And just want to say that have fun, enjoy yourselves, and also be safe and stay healthy. Bye bye. See you soon.